Hey guys, we're Javi and Joe, just your average couple trying to travel the world and share those experiences as we go. We have a plan to make our way from the northern tip of Mexico all the way to the southernmost tip of South America and eventually Antarctica. That is, until life happened and put those plans on hold for the time being. Now, we're making the best of this snow travel situation and exploring what our hometown has to offer. So far, we've taken a cruise through Trans Mountain, explored some awesome abandoned mines in the Franklin Mountains, took a dive into El Paso's rich history with a walking tour downtown, and of course, have tried some amazing local food. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. Today, we're taking you to the Far East to one of El Paso's most unique landscapes, Waco Tanks State Park. Watch for snakes, guys. And welcome to Waco Tanks. We'll get into the name later, but the park itself is a place where locals and tourists alike come to hike, climb, camp, and interestingly learn about the pictographs and petroglyphs left from earlier visitors. Before all that awesome stuff though, you gotta take care of some things first. All right guys, when you first get through the gate, you're gonna come to your first parking lot. And in this little building behind us is where you check in essentially. You have to register your car, so make sure you have your license plate number with you when you get in line. And you should have already paid for your permits online at the State Parks website, where they are $5 per person, plus an extra $2 um, if you do take a tour with them, which they are offering right now, which is super cool. So as soon as we register and check in, we are off to the next spot. After you get your ticket, you put it on the dash, and then we have to go to another building, which is where we're gonna meet our tour guide. Tours are available Wednesdays through Sundays and can be set up by calling in advance. We'll put the number in the description box below. All right guys, so they are actually offering tours right now. We didn't think they'd be offering them during this whole COVID corona stuff, but they are. So it's about two hours and we met up here where it says guided tours meet here and off we go, let's go. We're so glad we took the tour because our guide was super friendly, knowledgeable, and most importantly, getting a tour guide gives you access to parts of the park that are otherwise off limits. That little mile marker is sectioning off the area that you can't access without a guide. If you don't have a guide, you can't see some of those pictographs and hydro hydroglyphs that we just saw. But there are still a few more, so we're heading into the more rockier section of the mountains. So far, so cool. This tour specifically focused on sites of some of the pictographs and petroglyphs that were left by people more than 1500 years ago. Throughout the tour, you learn about the cultural and spiritual significance this region holds to many Native Americans. Truly a thought-provoking experience. Aside from seeing and learning about these paintings, you get to climb through, go up and over, and slide down boulders as you search for the various glyphs. If you don't know where to look or slide under the right rocks, you could miss some very important pieces. We had a nice experience through the tour with our guide, Bob. Plenty of information and stories, good laughs and relaxation, and just an overall nice time. There are plenty of things to do in the state park. Waco Tanks is located in a high altitude desert basin, offering a small desert oasis for wildlife and plants. It's a popular place for bird watching and appreciating the wildlife and plants in the region. The huecos, or hollows, that store water were and still are a critical resource for animals living in the area. When you get up into the rocks, you'll see the way you go. I call it a cavity in the rocks. And these were created when this was molten magma, and as it dried, the pockets of gases created the fuego. Mm -hmm. And when it rains and there's water in there, there's life in the fuegos, mm -hmm. waiting for it to rain. I heard a biologist 
can't remember her name from Duquette. I went on one a tour mm -hmm. one time and heard her talk about it. They have this aquatic invertebrate, which ain't no bank on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they say some of them can lay here for up to 11 years waiting for it to rain. Mm -hmm. And, and you can find anything from freshwater shrimp living in the natural pools to burrowing owls, javelinas, and mountain lions. There are multiple hiking trails throughout the area, taking you up boulders to beautiful viewpoints. We opted for the popular chain trail. So if you're wondering why this is called the chain trail, here you go. What a freaking guy. Dude. Just follow the chains and you'll end up with a panoramic view of the park. Besides hiking, Waco Tank State Park is regarded as one of the best areas in the world for bouldering. Maybe one day we'll try it for ourselves, but for today, it's all about the views. We couldn't believe that neither one of us had ever been here before. We keep reiterating in our videos that there's so much to do in our backyards and we'll continue to do so. Get out there, guys, and enjoy what our beautiful hometown has to offer. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here, and that is Weco Tanks. Come, and come check it out for yourself. It's yeah, so guys, it's cool. not that far from the city, and it's it's a really, really neat experience. As always, if you did enjoy the video, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.